Hi there. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can pay your late fines and other library fees online by logging into your account. This is a great option because you can make payments from home at any time, even when the library is closed, so it's incredibly convenient for you. Now, if you've never logged into your account before, or maybe it's been a while and you don't remember how, we do have another video tutorial how to log into your account that teaches you how to do that. But once you're logged in, this is the first screen that you'll see. And over on the left-hand side are a few different options with your account. And we're going to look at the fines and fees one. Right away in parentheses, it's saying $12, and that's going to be the total amount uh, that is owed. When we click on that, it brings up a window that gives a breakdown of all the different um, fines that we have. In this case, uh, two books and one DVD were returned a bit late, so we do have a total of $12. Uh, when you're ready to pay, go ahead and click the Pay Online button, and when you do, a window is going to pop up. And let me move that so you can see it. And this is our payment window. If you've ever paid for anything online um, from an online retailer, a lot of this should look familiar. And the first thing to note is the HTTPS in the top left-hand corner. The S lets you know that this is, this is a secure way to pay. Over on the left-hand side, we have our Fees and Fines box. Um, again, just like the previous screen, it lists all the things that you're owing for, and it has some check boxes next to them. Um, the Clear All button will uncheck all the boxes. The Select All will recheck them all. But you also have the option to pick and choose what things you want to pay for. So maybe I don't want to pay the whole 12 right now, and I just want to pay for the two books for a total of $3. You have that option. Or you just want to pay for the DVD right now. You have that option as well. Uh, one limitation for paying online is you cannot make partial payments. So if I owe the $9, I have to pay the entire 9 I can't just pay 5 or 6 If you do want to make a partial payment on an item, uh, you can come on down to the library and we can do that for you. But if you're paying online from home, um, it is an all or nothing for each item. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to pay for one of the books and the DVD for a total of $10. And that's what I want to pay for. Uh, when you've made your selections and you're ready to pay, over on the right-hand side of this screen is the billing information, and you want to enter in your information right here. Uh, name, address, city, state, and zip code. Uh, now, these boxes are required, so you have to fill them in. If anything is left blank and you try and submit, um, there'll be a kind of a red warning box will pop up, and our, the site will let you know what things you're missing and to fill them in with. Um, finally, there's an email box right here. And that box is optional. You don't need to include your email. Uh, but if you do, what will happen is you'll be emailed a copy of the receipt uh, when you're done with the transaction. So you can have that for your records if you prefer having a digital record of your uh, online payments. Uh, finally, down here, the second half of this billing information box is the credit card information where you want to put your card number, expiration date, and security code found on the back of your card. Uh, now, making payments online, uh, we'll accept Visa, MasterCard, and Discover. That is slightly different from paying in person. Um, at the library, we only accept Visa and MasterCard, so by paying online, you get the additional option of paying with a Discover card if you have one. Uh, now, I'm not going to put in my personal information for obvious reasons, but I will walk you through what to expect when you do. So when you have your items checked that you want to pay for and all of your information entered over here on the right, go ahead and click on the Submit button in the bottom left-hand corner, and it will take you to the next screen, which is a confirmation screen. And this is just asking you if the information you entered is correct. If it is and everything looks good, go ahead and submit again. And a third screen will pop up, and this is your receipt screen. It shows you what you have paid, and it gives you the option to print that screen if you want to. But again, if you've already included your email address, the two screens before that exact screen will have been uh, sent to your inbox. So there's no need to print if you don't want to, but you can if you do. And also, finally, the red X closes the window. And when you close the window, it will take you back to this screen. Uh, refreshing the page will uh, show the changes that you've made. So going back to the screen right away, you will still see uh, the uh, same amount that you started with, but if you refresh the page, it will reflect the payments that have been made. Um, also, to let you know, uh, any payments that you make online are reflected on your library account at the library immediately, so you can make payments from home and then come in and check out books right away without having to worry about a delay time. And that's all there is to it. That is how you pay online. Um, if after watching this video, you still aren't completely comfortable with making payments online, we still have our other options for you. You can give us a call and pay over the phone with a credit card. Again, just Visa or MasterCard. Or you can come in and we do accept uh, credit card checks or cash. 
Uh, another tidbit I like to let people know about is if you like the convenience of paying online but maybe you aren't comfortable putting in your own information, you can definitely go to your local store and buy a Visa gift card. Uh, put money on that and pay that online. That way you're not entering your own personal information, but you still get to experience the convenience of paying from home. And there you have it. That is paying your late fines and other library fees online. And if you have any questions, give us a call at 517-351-2420 or stop on by the library. Thanks. Bye.